La 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 la. Marcus Conti reporting. What do you think is going through Jeffrey Epstein's mind right now? <laughs> what is that guy thinking right now? That's fucking. Well, you can only imagine. You can only. You can only wonder what's going through his mind right now. Is he going to try to kill himself? Is somebody going to try to kill him? All of the above. Uh, he's not going home. All right, so there's Jeffrey Epstein right now. And just for the record, it's 95 degrees in New York City right now. It's on its way to 95 degrees. It's still early, earlier in the day, but it's on, en route to 95 degrees. Now, some places I know, like in down south in Texas, it's 95 degrees. It's not a big deal. But when, when 95 degrees hits the metropolis of New York City, it creates all kinds of shit, right? I just tried to take the train somewhere. The train's down. A signal broke because it's lazy people, right? It goes back to that initial, you know, ah, it's not my job. No, man, it's not my job. I'm going home. I, it's too hot. I'm going home. <laughs> Something like that. So shit starts to break down in the city when it's hot. So what about the jail? Right? Is, is Epstein's, is Epstein's uh, uh, cell air conditioned? So is Jeffrey Epstein a suicide, uh, possible suicide, you know, is he on suicide watch? Of course he's on suicide watch, but is he, it, it, will he take his own life, right? Well, he's, there's, look, in the, in the final analysis, I, I had said that if they hold him without bail, then it's it's pretty much you know it's pretty much checkmate for Jeffrey Epstein because the trial itself can go on for years, right? And as I said before, I don't think that a billionaire, a guy like Jeffrey Epstein, is is going to be willing to roll those dice and lose with all the evidence stacked up against him. The evidence just keeps coming. There's now, we're, we're awaiting 2,000 new documents, uh, apparently from 2015, from the lawyers of some of the victims. Uh, so heavy, heavy uh, concentration of, of uh, guilt on his back. Now, is he going to roll those dice and try to win on a technicality which says that he's not prosecutable because of some deal that he cut in two th- in uh, 2008 with then Alex Acosta, who is now distancing distancing himself from the case. Do you go into a, a trial with that's your your best hope is that you beat it on a on a technicality so that the evidence isn't reviewed? It ain't gonna happen, right? Because he's in the cell. They're now gonna you know torture him. Uh, is he is he a um, he's no longer a flight risk, but he is a risk to get whacked. I, or whack himself. Right. Now, that could come as a result of people say, oh, you can't get to him. Oh, no, no, he's in jail. <laughs> That's exactly where you could get him, right? You think that the, the, the correctional facilities are fair and square and honest? No, that's where they, you can... They, most of the time when a gun is found in a, in a jail, like, a, like a, an inmate turns up with a gun, that's, that's a cop. That's the police. Police can come and go as they please and all kinds of shit. That's how drugs get into jails. That's how people get whacked in jails. That's how they get, you know, uh, if they want to kill them, but they don't want to really kill them themselves, they'll just, they'll pay, you know, a couple of inmates that are already doing life in jail. What do they care? Uh, if they're going to get another five grand in their commissary to, commissary to knock this guy off, easy. Just, you know, they open the door, they let him go in, they fucking do their deal, let him scream, oh, you know, and chaos, and then he's out. So the potential for, for Epstein to get whacked uh, and, um, and such is, uh, he's still definitely in there. So here's the, here's the record, Federal Bureau of Prisons. He's still Jeffrey Epstein, Edward Epstein, registration number 76318-05866, white male. Uh, release date, unknown, location, Manhattan Correctional. So there he is. That's the building. I showed you. This is the court over here and the uh, underground tunnel. This is the jail, 700 inmates, 784 inmates. It's probably not. Uh, you can visit if you want. <laughs> you could try. You got to get on his. Uh, I tried that with Caesar Sayak. It ain't going to happen. Man. He's not going to talk to nobody. So we know he's there. Let's look at this video. This is pretty good. This is a uh, an, an investigator. I don't know the the credibility of this guy, but it's it's just an interesting guy who claims to have been a private investigator for about um, for about ten years following Epstein around. Listen to what he has to say. We'll talk more. 
these were girls that were not of age of consent in the state of Florida. They couldn't be prostitutes. One victim told Fiston she was just 13 when it started. But she looked like she was nine. And she started telling me the whole story about how, you know, she tried to live a good life. She was blaming herself for, for what Jeffrey did to her. And she was in such pain, this girl, that, listen, nothing really phases me after spending like 13 years in homicide. Nothing really phased me anymore. But that really phased me. I mean, I teared up during this. Court documents obtained by CNN detail how Epstein intimidated, frightened, and threatened potential witnesses against him, including the girls he had abused. The U.S. Attorney's Office knew the FBI was investigating, but chose not to prosecute. Fiston witnessed that harassment firsthand. He hired um, private investigators, and all their job was to do was to follow the girls around and intimidate them. They were on their bumpers everywhere they went. They pull into a gas station, they pull up behind them. They pull up to a grocery store, they pull up behind them. So this is happening while he's supposedly serving his 13 months? Uh, while he's serving it and after he gets out, while he's on probation. You know, if you're looking at this from a law and justice point of view, whatever that prosecution was, it doesn't sound like it sent any message to Jeffrey Epstein. Well, it did send a message. You could do what you want, and no one's going to mess with you. And Fiston says anyone watching Epstein during his 13-month jail sentence would have seen Epstein being allowed to leave jail during the day, head to his office, where young women would come and go. They were bringing lavish lunches and food into his office. And you saw girls going in? You saw girls going in. Underage? Couldn't tell if they were underage or not. They look young? They look very young. You have no doubt he's been abusing since, since his plea? Oh, absolutely. He can't stop. Epstein's attorney says Jeffrey Epstein has had a spotless record since he got out of jail in 2010. You mentioned you have proof that just recently he's been abusing girls. What, what is the proof? Well, we, we had some people come forward. And you have their names? I have their names, and we've turned that information over to the federal authorities. Which is why Fiston says the victims of Jeffrey Epstein, known and unknown, are rejoicing in his recent arrest. This is all they ever wanted. They don't want his money. They don't want, they wanted, this is what they wanted. This is all they wanted. So that shit is about Mike to, Fiston was a... So, Shit is about to get real for this guy, right? So, so you heard that guy, right? You say, you know, the the that's President CNN. Trump. Let's talk about this one. Says Hold he's on working second. to free rapper ASAP Rocky from a jail in Sweden. Shush, CNN, you've you've had your moment. Uh, so, so what else? So, you know, that that was pretty powerful, right? That's an investigator walking around. All these witnesses are now going to come forward because he's locked up. Uh, you're going to have a, a, a arsenal of of new witnesses come forward. And this other thing, right, 2,000, likely within days, U.S. Court of Appeals for the Second Circuit will release almost 2,000 pages of documents that could reveal sexual abuse by numerous prominent politicians, American politicians, powerful business executives, foreign presidents, a well-known prime minister, and other world leaders, according to the three-panel, three-judge panel ruling. So this was, uh, these are documents that were on the table for Jeffrey, Jeffrey Epstein's accuser, Robert Goffrey, uh, Virginia, I'm sorry, Virginia Goffrey, and uh, Gallison Maxwell. So we'll see what those documents say, right? If they're, they're, it's amazing that the documents are already on table. They're already, they're already in the court system, and nobody acts on them. Uh, you got to wait for them to be unsealed, and so, so we'll wait on that. Uh, so as again, Epstein's sitting in there, right? You got. You know, new documents coming out that may reveal a bunch of, you know, very powerful foreign entities. Could he become another, you know, Clinton body bag, right? Bill Clinton, 26 times on the plane, has every incentive to, to whack Epstein in case he talks, trying to get himself a, a, a plea deal. Now, again, will Epstein take out his own life? Uh, I don't know. I mean, you know, the guy's, the guy's used to living, living large. You know, being served caviar and served hors d'oeuvres in his in his bathrobe, standing in the middle of his seventy-seven million dollar mansion in in uh, New York, or he's on the island driving around in a in a golf cart with with naked teenagers and 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 sipping prosecco and whatever else he's doing, right? 
Is he going to be able to handle sitting in that jail cell right now, right? Uh, or is he going to kill himself? Or are the powerful people going to swoop in and, and whack him? Right? Now, again, 100% at this point in my view, again, my opinion, my political, my, uh, political uh, prediction is that Epstein will never, he'll never go to trial. The whole thing is going to come down to what type of plea bargain he's going to make and then what kind of evidence the government is going to release to the public. Are they going to ever tell us exactly what, what happened? Are we ever going to find out exactly what happened? I don't know. I mean, I, I would, you, would, you would hope so in a free economy, you know, in a, free, uh, in a, in a just and, and uh, correct uh, you know, place, but that's not where we are, right? The courts are rigged. The courts are, you know, he's, he's down there. He's, he's locked up. Why Epstein? Why now? What's the political ramification? What is the, who's kicking the football, you know, who's, who's in charge? Who's kicking? That's what we want to find out. So Marcus Conti reporting on this heat wave in New York City. It's hot, man. I got, I got an air conditioner on, and it's just barely, it's barely squeaking by, man. It's, like, tough. <clears throat> so so uh, wherever you are in the U.S., stay, uh, stay cool. It's not worth going out there. And in Central Park, they, they call the horses in uh, at 92 degrees. Uh, so it's 95. It's time to get out of the, time to get out of the heat. Stay, stay cool. Drink, drink a lot of fluids and... Uh, and, uh, you know, fuck Epstein, right? Who cares, right? That's the problem, right? See, when you're a scumbag, you see the karma of being a, you know, at one point everybody's protecting you and, and, and all the money that, uh, that you took from people and, and the blackmail and all that stuff, right? And then, and then in the final analysis, when you live your life like that, in the final analysis, nobody gives a flying rat's fucking ass about you. And you're sitting in a jail contemplating killing yourself. Right? And that's who Jeff, Jeffrey Epstein came became so you know if that's what you aspire to be a billionaire you know a a cutthroat what's the message cutthroat step over people to 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 uh to to amass millions control people if that's who you are and that's the type of people you admire well then Jeff, jeffrey epstein should be your hero but instead he's sitting there contemplating sitting in probably a hot cell right now a hot, you know, nine by seven little cement room, you know, with fucking, fucking crazy people screaming all around you. Cops sliding a ham sandwich under the table, under the under the bars. Here's dinner, Jeffrey. Enjoy. Uh, you know, everything. You know, twenty three hours a day in a cell. So I don't know. I mean, how's how's he gonna kill himself? We're gonna find out, man. <laughs> we'll find out, man. So uh, Mark Scotty reporting. Kindly become a Patreon of this channel. Really, really appreciate that. Peace out.